Today's Strade Saturday video is going to be about a really cool new Strade knife that's made in the USA that's coming up next on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me. So the folks at Strade were kind enough to send me one of their brand new made in the USA Strade SMHF Manila folders. And Bally Song knife, butterfly knife, whatever you want to call it. This is, uh, let's just show you, Shrade USA right there. And they're calling this one the Manila Folder. And I got to tell you, I first saw this knife at SHOT Show with Morgan Taylor, who uh, sh showed it to me, and we did a quick video on that. But uh, this knife is really cool. First of all, it is made in the USA, which is a departure for Shrade, but they were able to, they were able to get this one done in the USA. Uh, it has a blade of D2 steel and stainless steel handles, and it's a traditional Bally Song butterfly style knife. It's a Philippine, kind of a traditional Philippine design. And the way this one came about, the uh, one of the, uh, gosh, decades ago, uh, the Mr. Taylor, the founder of Taylor Brands, he, uh, this was one of his designs. He designed a, a Bally Song type knife. And since uh, you may know that Strade uh, actually uh, was purchased, or Taylor Brands, I guess, the, the, the parent company of Strade Knives, was purchased by a uh, division of Smith & Wesson in 2016. So they kind of made this knife as a tribute to their father because he's, uh, you know, he, he was kind of responsible for starting the whole, the whole thing there at Taylor Brands, obviously. So I'm rambling. So, so this is a butterfly knife, and I know that's real popular now for a lot of people to do all this flipping stuff. And I got to tell you, this one's got a little bit of a little bit of bite to it because it is basically called a blade and a half. We got an edge down here and a half a sharp edge up top, and they're sharp. I mean, they're I don't know if they're shaving sharp, but by golly, they're sharp. Uh, they're that sharp. That was about if you can see that. That was my first day with this thing about a week, uh, maybe four or five days ago. It's starting to heal now because I wasn't very careful. I'm not what you would call an expert at that whole Bally Song thing. So I'm going to try to go over with you just my understanding of it. This particular knife you want to hold, this is your handle part, the, the part that's got the, the, the toggle on it that locks up tight. And the, and the premise is you flip it one time and it goes like that. Then you flip it, you, you let it spin in your hand, you flip it down again, and the non-sharpened part hits on your finger like so, all right? And then you flip it back and this handle comes up and locks it and then you're, you're able to use it. So basically, let me just start with it closed. I'm gonna try this very slowly. When I cut myself, it was trying to do it holding the camera to make an Instagram shot, so not really the smartest thing for me to do. I'm gonna drop the camera down a little bit and try to show you this without cutting myself. Without taping the blade, this is, this is live, well, it's live while I'm doing it. It won't be live when you're watching it. So instead of me, I'm, hopefully it's going to be in camera. So I'm just going to try to do it like this. Spin around like that. Back open like that and you're open. Okay. I did that really slow because I don't want to cut myself. So to close it, you're going to spin like that. And you can see that the non-sharpened part is, what's, is where it's hitting my fingers. So you want to make sure you don't let this thing get down here because it's going to cut you if you do. So then it's like that. Then you spin it around half in your hand. Go like that so that the handle hits your finger, and then you make sure your fingers are out of the way, and you close it like that. So, now it's closed. So, we're gonna try to do it a little bit faster. I know there's guys that do all the super fast stuff, and it's like a big fad now. I'm not one of them, okay? So, down, spin, and up, and it's open. To close it, you're gonna hold the same handle. This is the handle you wanna hold, and the other one, you want swinging around. Down, spin, and close. You basically close it up here. So, Chuck Norris can push himself in a wheelbarrow. Okay, so in my opinion, this is definitely not a beginner's knife. It's not a knife I would probably buy a kid because it's just really easy to get get hurt with this thing. There are Bally Song style knives, butterfly knives that have a single edge, and they're probably a lot lot more safe than this one. But this is the style that they chose to make, um, and I think it's cool. I think it gives you a little more stabbing if you need to stab somebody with it. I can tell you that for whatever reason, I know there are a lot of municipalities, these knives are not legal. And I think it's because they have a background of, of being designed for Filipino knife fighting styles. There's a lot of Filipino um, knife fighting type styles and history behind this kind of thing. So you know, I guess they just have a, a, 
they have a reputation as a fighting knife, so they're really considered more of a weapon than a tool. But I know that, again, there are a lot of, um, a lot of people nowadays, I've seen videos of people doing really crazy things with these. By the way, I didn't tell you the specs because this thing, because I just think it's so cool, but it's got a four inch blade on it, about a five inch handle, so it's almost nine inches total. It weighs about a half a pound, so it's a, it's a solid, a solid knife. Um, it, it functions very well. It swings nice. The fit and finish on this thing is just really good. There's a little clasp on it. All stainless. Um, the fact that it's D2 steel, I think, is the big deal because that's just a really good knife steel. Um, and you don't have to do all that flipping stuff, by the way. You can just um, you can just open it up and use it. This this lock is very engages very well. I don't think you have to worry about that coming loose in your pocket. It's got a good solid heft to it. So really, if you wanted to use this for a weapon with it closed. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a force multiplier several ways. So it could be a good self-defense weapon, even if you don't know all the flipping things. Um, but if you do manage to get it really good at all that flipping stuff, it could be an even better weapon. But uh, you could definitely pop somebody with that or that. and then. But you don't have to do all that flipping. You can just open it like so. And it's, it's a really, once, once you got everything latched together, it's a really solid knife. The, the blade is... There's no wobble in there at all, even though it's got to have enough play to move freely. Once you get it locked up, there's no wobble. It's very traditional looking, very nice looking. And I think yeah, I just, I'm, as much as anything else, I think it's pretty cool to finally see that Shrade's able to, to make a production knife in the U.S. And I know they were talking to me a couple years ago about trying to do that on a limited basis, on some limited run stuff. Um, I think this is going to be maybe the first step into that. Hopefully we'll see more of that from them. But you know, their quality, in my opinion, on all their knives is really good anyway, no matter where they're made. Uh, but, but, you know, it's cool to see something made in the USA. And I know the folks at Strait are happy to be able to do that too because they're, they're good folks up there from in eastern Tennessee. So anyway, I will stop rambling now. I got to say, if you're looking for a really cool knife that's um, made in the USA, it's got some history behind it, and it's very, very well made. And you like these Bally Song style knives. This one could be a really good one for you. It's, um, I like this one a lot. This is, this, this is going to be one I'm going to hang on to and not give away. I give away a lot of knives to Boy Scouts and stuff. But um, this one, I'll probably hang on to this one because I, I really like it. Maybe I'll even get to where I can do that flippity thing without cutting myself. <laughs> anyway, once again, I'd like to thank the folks at Strayed for sending me this so I can show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing this video with all your friends. Thank you so very much for doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time. I don't want to cut myself again. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this because, ow. So yeah, this is definitely not a beginner's knife, okay? Because <laughs> made in the USA.